the guard is always like, "Are you on the show?" I'm like, "Yes," and he's like, "Extras over there." I'm like, "Sir, I'm number one on the show, number one." And I would literally, I would always leave a call sheet on the side. You see this Asian name? That's me. <laughs> Lost. 아무도 우리 찾지 않을 것 같아요. 걱정하지 마. 사람이 올 거야. I kept getting cast in an American project, but that would fall through. Like I would, I would think, oh, finally I'm gonna get to act. You know, I kind of missed acting in English. It's slightly different, you know. My first audition was Lost. It was with JJ, and it was with the whole gang, Brian Burke and everybody. And because JJ got delayed, I was like one of the first or the third person going in. And I, I was just like, oh my, I got so annoyed because my mom was coming in. I had to pick her up. And it's like, my mom is more important than the audition, right? I didn't really know. I was like, oh. Who's this JJ guy? So late, and I waited, and you know, I kind of like walked in, kind of like a little annoyed, and but I kind of used it. And this is what's so cool about JJ Abrams. He was like, "You're not right for this role," and I was like, "Okay, thank you very much." He was like, "Wait, sit down. Let me get back to you." I was like, "Okay," and I was like, I rushed to the airport, wow. and that's when I got the call. They literally called like an hour later and said, "We love her. We want to write her a role. We don't know exactly what." But can we hold her? So, and then literally, like within a couple hours, they created the character, Sun, and they asked if I would feel comfortable speaking Korean on the show, and I was like, sure, but I I'm gonna eventually speak in English, right? I need to talk to you. Like if it if we were gonna fail, it was gonna be like crash. Like it was gonna be bad failure. But if we were gonna succeed, I knew we would be pretty big. When we first started press for Lost, one of the ABC publicists came to Daniel Day Kim and I. She came up to us and she said, "Do you know that you guys are the first two Asian Americans to be cast as serious regulars on a on a network show?" And I said, no, really? I don't know if she went through all the history or the, yeah. all the lists, but it's so easy to believe. Your wife had an affair. What? dying with me it was so tragic. It's like so beautiful at the same time. That was sort of like what our character represented. We were sort of like the heart of Lost, you know. Shitty. I got cast in a movie called Shiri, and when I read it, I was like, and I didn't even audition. That's the crazy part. This was never a plan. I never thought I could, you know, I would act in Korean and actually live in Korea, you know what I mean? That was never in the realm of my reality back then. I was born here in Seoul, Korea. My whole family immigrated when I was 10 years old. And, um, you know, obviously I didn't speak a word of English. And so once I got there, I would just sit there like a mute child. So I went through that type of phase and uh, my teacher was like, why don't you try like drama club after school? So I was like, uh, okay. That's when I started getting the, the confidence and sort of like learning to use my voice all over again. Sort of start out with, you know, junior high school. And then I auditioned for the High School of Performing Arts. It's, you know, when I went, and it's still Fiorello H. LaGuardia but you know, the, the fame school. So I got like two, three books of monologues and I picked two out and I, I didn't know what I was doing. So, I, and I went and surprisingly I got in 
And that's when I really learned what acting is and all that. And I got, you know, I've been hooked ever since. I went to Boston University and majored in acting, and I got cast in a Korean miniseries from New York. We started shooting in New York, and then the uh, I had to come to Korea to finish it off. Um, and then I went back. That aired. I started getting calls from Korea. I was just like, I don't, I'm, I don't think I could do. Acting here. The director wanted someone new. There's shots of me, just the eyes or like the back of my head. If they, if he cast a famous actress in that role, people would, you know, know. But my identity, it, it, the character's identity, had to be sealed. So obviously, he was looking for a fresh face, and I just had a meeting and I got cast. And then I found out who my partner was going to be and who was going to be in the film and I was like what the actors who are in the film are like were like the top of the top I tried everything to get the character right and because I didn't I wasn't used to the film medium I didn't know how much I needed to portray how much it was going to come across you know I was so you know I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> And when I when I play the the role the sick woman, mm. who the lead takes the identity of, you know we did the fake tooth, the wig, and the whole like skin, you know because she's a sick woman, we did all that. But like still, I wasn't sure. I couldn't trust all that. Mm. Now I'm like, oh, I trust you guys. And <laughs> I don't, you know, I just do. But but like I didn't eat for about a week. Mistresses. Mistresses, I mean, I obviously I wanted to play a role that was very different from Lost Son, even though, you know, I love, I love, I love playing Son on Lost. Um, I wanted to do something sexy, something fun, something light, and Mistresses came along, and it was my, I mean, it was just, you know, obviously, you know, it's always about four women navigating, you know, love and because after sex in the city, you can't have three or five. It's got to be four women. God, we've missed you. What have you been doing these past few months? And who have you been doing? You look way too good to be wasting all this action on mental cases. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I had something more interesting to tell you guys, but I've just been working nonstop. Alyssa was sort of like the, the last person mm -hmm. to, uh, to, like, I met the other two actresses, we hung out, and we kept saying, We're, who's going to be, who's going to play her, who's going to play Safi? But, but they, like, the, her deal took a very long time. So, anyway, but I mean, it was just like, wow, I used to watch you on television. <laughs> she yeah. was like the biggest child star. I mean, I used to be like, oh, I love her. She's so pretty. But, you know, like, just now she's like one of my cool friends. My life is on the line. You can't talk to me about it? That's fine, I get it. But I am done playing nice with this woman. Make sure you tell her that I am not going down without a fight. And whenever I pull in a new location, you know, because we drive ourselves, not like here, but the guard is always like, are you on the show? I'm like, yes. And he's like, extras over there. I'm like, sir, I'm number one on the show. And I would literally, I would always leave a call sheet on the side and I would be like, you see this Asian name? That's me. <laughs> It's great, isn't it, yeah. that I get to tell this. I mean, and he, he means no harm. He just doesn't know, and he's not used to it because he's never seen it before. But I'm going to show him now. Listen, you see this Asian name? That's me. I'm Asian, and I'm, the, I'm number one on a, a network show, okay? It wasn't just me. You know, there's that, you know, of course, Daniel Day Kim, Sandra Oh, John Cho, now Steve Young. Come on. I mean, like, and they happen to be Korean Americans. Oh, it's my father. I always 
came back to Korea to, to work, every break I had, every hiatus, um, I had a project. And obviously, once you, know, you sign a contract for seven years on a network show, you have to get permission to do anything, even though it's outside of the United States. So it never felt like I ever stopped working here in Korea. I just went away for nine months to do something else in a different country, and then I came back. I was already very good friends with the director. He said, it's male-driven, you know, movie. And he was literally like, I'm so sorry, but you're going to have to do this. <laughs> Can you please do it? <laughs> like, I'm going to make sure I'm going to take care of your character. And I read it. I was like, I don't care if it's based on um, a, a male character. I mean, it's literally translated into Oh to my father. It's not Oh to my mother. And I was like, it's totally fine. And he was like, no, we're going to add you in in these, like the Gwangju uh, sequence where he's looking for his sister. That whole sequence, he wanted to add my character into it. I was like, no, I think it's better with the, you know, with his best friend going there and doing this journey just with him. I was like, plus I have to work. Who's going to open the store, right? I mean, like, you know, just in the world of um, 국제시장. So he was just like, really? And I was like, it's totally okay. And after seeing a film, he was just like, you were so right about that. Money Heist Korea. I saw the first two seasons of the original Money Heist. And I saw it when I was back in LA. Huge fan of the show. So I was like, ah, is this right? I mean, why touch it? It's like so amazing already. The script really convinced me. Just the whole premise of, you know, we're on the verge of unification with North Korea and South Korea and so forth. And just, but each location, like in the task force, I'm butting heads with North Korean, you know, negotiator as well. So there is an extra layer. Ujin is not only battling the professor, you know, the robbers in the bank and trying to save the hostages. I'm battling with another layer, with the whole tension between South Korean cops and North Korean cops and them butting heads, the politicians giving us pressure. <laughs> I thought this type of layer and um, just combining the, the new elements in the script, it really worked. Can I tell you, I used to dream, like after like a very stressful day, feeling lonely, out of place, feeling like I'm starting from scratch when I was shooting Lost. I used to put my head down, like about to go to sleep, and I used to be like, I wish here is Korea. Like, I wish it would switch. The career that I built would just kind of like switch. And I would get the same thing in America that I would, you know, do you know what I mean? Just switching places, kind of. I'm not saying that's what's happening now, but the, just the, the idea of being able to shoot everything that's Korea, in Korean, with Korean directors, producers, Korean system, especially with Korean actors. And then it gets shown in like, other countries, like who would have thought? I'm so lucky to be part of it, in the middle of it. It, it, it. This is actually happening in my lifetime. Who would have thought? You know, I'm thrilled.